Shortly before a California woman's life was taken, she told her boyfriend she was being followed. Christina Raymond, 35 years old, was unfortunately stabbed to death on Sunday afternoon while delivering food for DoorDash. A California woman is dead and her ex-boyfriend has been arrested after her body was found in the backseat of her own car. Christina Raymond, a delivery for DoorDash gone wrong on Sunday afternoon. While talking on the phone with her boyfriend, Leonard Person, she allegedly noticed someone was following her. According to Person, Raymond quickly identified the person following her. She's like, oh my God, babe, that's Anthony, he said to the police. Authorities say that Raymond was referring to her ex-boyfriend, 42-year-old Anthony John Juco, who is a registered sex offender in the state of California. Raymond tried to drive off to the police station but pulled up on the wrong side of the building. Police alleged that Juco caught up to her, got in her car, and stabbed her. A statement from the police says shortly thereafter, the department received a call from a concerned party requesting a welfare check on Raymond, who should have made it to the police station by that point. Officers arrived to the area and allegedly saw Juco pulling out of the parking lot in Raymond's vehicle. A high-speed chase then ensued. The chase ended in a crash, and when police got to the vehicle, they say they found Raymond's body in the back seat. Persons tells KTVU that Raymond had been receiving threatening emails from Juco. Quote, it was just getting worse and worse the prior month, Persons said. He just kept saying some really nasty thing about when he see her, it's going to be a problem. I'm going to kill you and your family, end quote. According to the East Bay Times, Juco was hospitalized for self-inflicted stab wounds after his arrest. On Wednesday, prosecutors filed a felony murder charge against Juco. He was also charged with one felony count of stalking. Juco has not yet entered a plea in this case, and court records do not reflect an attorney authorized to speak on his behalf. What I will say is that ended up giving her love to the wrong person who did not love her but wanted to possess her and ended up taking her life. Hopefully justice is done and her family can get closure. Thank you for watching Detox OT, Law and Crime. If you or anyone you know is suffering from domestic violence, always go to the 24-7 hour hotline at 702-646-4981. You can schedule to be picked up for free. And if you would like to make donations, you can also donate. Safeness.org.